Are you happy for me to see your patients? Yes. I promise I'll be good. As long as you're good, that's good. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> when someone needs to go scrub, <laughs> this is That's why the bar junior. Hello, my name is Junior, nice to meet you. I am a collaboration between the Chelsea and Westminster Hospital and Imperial College London. I'm here visiting all the patients, trying to keep them company and hopefully make them laugh. Tell me a joke. Okay. What do snowmen have for breakfast? I don't know. What do snowmen have for breakfast? Snowflakes. <laughs> I can't laugh, it hurts. <laughs> Is there anything you want to talk about? Uh, life, the universe and everything. The what? <laughs> no, what would you like to talk about? I've been stuck in here. What's the news? What's happening in the world? I don't know. Oh, well, that's no use, is it? I can check the news. Thank you. Okay. Hang on a sec. I'll go online. Okay. Chinese passenger opens plane door for fresh air. What? <laughs> Chinese passenger opens plane door for fresh air. Man who opened emergency exit as plane was about to take off did not realize the danger. Airline staff say. <laughs> Crazy. My research has been in robot companions for children. So it was sort of a natural fit that I did the companions for adults with this role. So my supervisor just asked me, hey, do you want to do it? And I said, sure. It's a, it's a nice project, it sounds fun, and it sounds helpful, right? No one has, that we know, no one has done this thing in the hospital before. He's very friendly and he wants to keep you entertained. <laughs> <laughs> You're not ready. Okay, that's fine. Thank you. That's okay. Thank you anyway, have a good day. And Merry Christmas. We have some people that ignore the robot, that just would not look at it, would pretend it wasn't there, to people that found it scary, to people that really liked it, to people that were trying to push the limits of what it could do. Nice to meet you. Robotics has not found yet the killer app. I think that robots do really well for the capabilities that they currently have. Everyone dreams of the robotic butler, but I think that's very difficult. They're not going to get that anytime soon. We need something more modest, but they can really do And There must be something, and maybe this is it. So it is a very nice avenue of research to well, check if we can keep company to, to patients and just make lives a little better. My main area of interest in research is memory, cognitive problems after surgery, after anesthesia, and after critical illness. And, and the population is aging, that is a fact. So we know that by 2020, we will be operating more people above 65 than anything else. Open your arms. Is that a lot, Brilliant. Thank you. Thank you for helping me. You know, and these people have a life that will be put on hold because of their operations, and they will be alone, you know, isolated from their own environment. And we will be there supporting them from the clinical point of view. But from the social point of view, what we are doing for them? 
We are isolating them. We are condemning them to an empty room with no memories. So by bringing artificial intelligence, I think we can actually help them to remember the past and look forward to something. I hope you like genius. It's a new initiative. Yes, it is. Clever. First thing I've ever heard of that hey, anywhere in the world. It's the first time that they've kind of had an active role in hospitals as well, so. Breakthrough. I know, and you're one of the first to experience it. Oh, that's interesting, isn't it? How's that? It's very, really. It's a revelation, really. Good. Well, but it does help distract the patient worry oh, yeah. into a conversation. At least they attempt to do a few exercises, which they wouldn't otherwise do if they're a bit depressed. You're absolutely right. And did you feel that it cheered you up a bit? Yes. Oh, good. I'm talking to another person. Good. Breaking the silence, you know, mm. camaraderie. It's come. This week is the key week for us. The idea is to assess as many patients as possible. So, from different backgrounds, from different cultures, from different age groups, um, different sex, because female patients may or may not like them. The same with male patients. So we need to look into all these variables in order to ascertain if the robot is the right technology to introduce at this stage in hospitals. Even if the patients may not engage 100%, we need to think why they don't engage and work on it. It's very really annoying for me. And I can't hear properly. Sorry about that. Oh, thank you very much indeed. Still, there are worse things, let's see. I don't believe that. Do you know about music? Do you? Well, I can sing. Can you? Well, go on then. Sing? Yes. All right. Well, let's hear it then. What are you going to sing? Okay. Okay. Hang on a sec. I will. You're not singing. That's playing, Junior. That's orchestral. Not, not a note has come from your mouth. Yes. Uh -huh. I'll stop it then. Yes. Stop it. Sorry. Yes. You said you were going to sing. That wasn't singing. I expected song. I cannot hear you when I play music. No, you can't. Because you can't multitask. You'll have to learn about that. We have to develop this. This is it's an embryonic phase of our project. If patients show that they love it, then we need to make it better. What do I mean by better? Tailored to the patients. If the patient speaks Spanish, like me, the robot will talk to them in Spanish. And not only that, we will make the robot interact in real time. Because at the moment, we play the answers back with some delays. So that may not feel real, but it's real enough, yes, to feel that someone is there. Can you hear me? My name is James. Hello. Hello. When people say, oh, it's going to take my job, they say, just watch it. Just see the limitations. Just see what it can actually do, not what you think it can do. Because many people just know robots from films, from television, from science fiction. And those are great, but they're not what real robots are about. And then when you see what it's actually about, I think I haven't had a single nurse that after seeing it work has said, oh, it's going to take my job, or they, they were worried. On the contrary, I think most nurses have been very positive about it. We have to use technology in hospitals, and this is a way of using it in our favor, in our patients' favor.
all the results if we prove that we have a real impact in patient's life and it's cost effective for trust. Our next step is to raise funding to support clinical studies to assess actually the feasibility of introducing this type of technology. I should be learning.